Hey friends, it's Buff Q again. I apologize for it being so long since my last video, guys. Um, about a week ago, uh, I caught the flu, and um, it was the B strain of it. Luckily, it wasn't the worst one, but um, it, it knocked me out for, for probably about a week there. I just felt miserable and um, really just wasn't motivated at all to do much of anything. Just everything hurt and just you know felt horrible. So I apologize for it being so long. But I'm um, finally feeling great and um, wanted to do a quick little video for you guys today. This is on my newest uh, addition to my knife collection. This is my 2017 limited edition um, Victorinox Cadet in olive green. This is the 2017 edition. Um, I recently had a birthday and this was uh, a gift from my wife. Um, Obviously, she knows <laughs> knows me very well, knows my taste, and um, she knows how much I love my my regular cadet. She knows how much I carry it and how how useful it is, and so um, you know she she read between those lines and got me an awesome birthday gift, the 2017 edition. If you're not already familiar with the Victorinox uh, cadets, for one thing, I don't know where you've been living because these are fantastic pocket knives. Um, multiple multiple uses with these things um great warranty they they're built well they hold up very well um they're just they're they're excellent pocket knives um you know they they're not a one-handed you know clip carry sort of pocket knife like some of our more modern things are um but as far as you know having something that will uh stand up to pretty rough use um you know it's hard to beat these things they're so useful um of course, like I said, this is the 2017 edition um, in olive green. I just love that color. Man, I love that color. Um, I just, I think that's a really great looking finish they have on that. Um, of course, flipped over here, you can see the, the year stamped on the back there, 2017. Um, you know, one of the biggest things that, that turned me on to these was how thin they are. Just incredibly thin. Uh, and part of that is because of the um, the ALOC scales. You know, they're very thin, but they have a great purchase. They've got a real good grippy feeling. Um, you don't have any concern that it's going to slip or fall out of your hand when you're using it. It's got to, you can get a real good purchase on it. It just feels really good in the hand. If you've never picked one of these up and actually ha um, held one, the next time you're at, um, you know, any kind of a, um, a sporting goods store or, you um, you know, local gun shop or knife shop or anything like that, anywhere where they may sell one of these, pick one up and see what you think. I think you'll find that you really like it. Um, for one thing, the weight on this is 1.6 ounces. Um, you, you, and honestly, I know a lot of people say, oh, you know, you'll forget you have such and such item on you. Oh, this item is so lightweight, you know, you'll forget you have it. This, you truly will. I mean, honestly. You will forget you you stuck it in your pocket, um, and if you're anything like me, um, there will probably be multiple times that you'll come home and forget to take it out of your pocket, and then when you're getting ready to do laundry, you'll hear that clank uh, down in the bottom of the washing machine and realize you forgot to take your cadet out of your pocket, okay? Uh, yes, this one has gone through the wash. Yep, it's happened, and it's doing just fine. This is, this is not a limited edition one. This is just my uh, regular cadet, but anyway... Um, I'll go through uh, the specs of this really quick. You can look this up, uh, and most of you guys, if you're watching this video, probably already know all the specs. But um, you do have your uh, your large blade here, okay, non-locking. Um, it is marked with the, um, here it is, if I turn around, you can see it, with the officer issue there on the blade. All right, non-locking, um, but good retention. Okay, it does kind of snap into place with some authority. All right, so you don't really have to worry too much about it snipping your fingers. All right, over here <clears throat> is, um, for one thing, this is the screwdriver. Um, I believe this is the smaller one. I think this is the three millimeter. I may be wrong on that. Anyway, a uh, tiny little screwdriver tip on that if I can get it to focus for you there. Um, tiny little screwdriver tip right on, the, right on the end of that. And then this is your can opener, okay? This is your can opener. On the other side here, Yes, okay, I was right. Here is your six millimeter screwdriver, okay? Flathead screwdriver, and yeah, it does work. They do work as screwdrivers. I've, I've had to use them a couple times. Um, they do work. And of course, um, you know, when it's Miller time, here's your 
your bottle opener, as well as the wire stripper. Uh, I've never had to use the wire stripper on one of these. I imagine they, they work just fine. I've just, I've never had to use it, so can't really say much about that. All right. Um, other than that, you've got, um, let me get this other side turned around here so we can get a good look at it. You've got uh, what may look at first like another another blade from that side. It's actually not a blade. Uh, it's a um, nail file, which, again, not really a tool I've ever needed much. Um, you know, if they were to swap this out for something different, uh, I'd be all right with that. Um, but what is handy is this thing on the end they just call the na your, a nail cleaner. Now, I've never used it once to clean my nails. Maybe I should. I don't know. My finger. Yeah, my fingernail's okay. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, it is it is handy just kind of um, as as an awl. Okay, some of you know what an awl is. Some of you may not. Um, Victorinox makes several knives that includes what they call an awl, and it can be used kind of as a punch, um, or like if you need to make um, not necessarily a cut in something, but if you if you need to pierce something. Okay, this is kind of a handy little thing to have because it's not it's not you know terribly sharp. You're not going to cut yourself with it. Uh, unless you jab yourself really hard, of course, but uh, could be handy for just a number of different things. Uh, and then, of course, Victorinox lists their key ring as one of the functions of the knife. I don't, I don't know about all that. Um, it is handy to throw a lanyard on it, but uh, I don't know that I would really consider that a a tool or a, you know one of the great uses of the knife. It's just kind of an extra feature. So anyway, real quick look at my new uh, 2017 limited edition. Um, I, I think I'm going to start collecting these. My wife has the um, 2016 limited edition Cadet. Uh, it's the Orchid Orchid Violet, I think it's called. Um, exact same specs as this knife here, just in a different color. It's a really pretty purple color, um, kind of a deep purple. I certainly wouldn't mind carrying it. Uh, you know, if if uh, if I didn't have these two, and and um, you know, my wife had bought me a. a Orchid Violet, I would have still been very satisfied with that. Uh, it's a good-looking knife, and I'd carry it as well. Uh, and I think the 2015, which I believe 2015 is when they started their limited edition series, um, the first one they did was kind of a deep blue color. It's very pretty. Um, I haven't found one of those yet, but uh, I'm sure if I looked around long enough on, online, I'll be able to find one of those as well. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Like I said, I know this is kind of a short video, but um, this was kind of the first thing I felt like doing after recovering from... Uh, the flu I picked up. So hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are on the cadets here. Let me know if you've got one. If you have any questions about it, be happy to answer it as best I could. All right. It's good talking with you guys. We'll see you next time.